why do they make you like sign for your groceries at the grocery store when you're using credit to check out? It makes no sense. Like, if I don't eat this food, I'm going to die. So, yes, I guess I'll sign this little pad saying I don't want to die. Thank you. <sighs> Come on, society. What's up, friends and fam? It is Sam, and we are on vlog number four. I just finished editing uh, vlog number three, the second one of the spring break vlogs. It's actually rendering right now, and it's so cool. I, it's hard to believe that like I've done three vlogs already. In my expertise, it's the best one so far. This vlog number four is gonna be interesting because I've been doing like one or two or three days but I want to take you through the whole week. So today, uh, we're going to go to a store to get uh, a mount that's the correct size. Uh, if you've seen vlog two, um, I bought the wrong size one, so we're gonna fix it. And also, we're going to the store to get my mom a birthday card because her birthday is in a few days, and I love her. And later tonight, I'm going to the club just like I do every week, and it's gonna be lit. So, thanks for watching this video. Let's go do our thing. <laughs> so, this is one of those clubs that requires special access to get into. So, you ready to do this? Let's go to the club. All right. Oh, seatbelt. Safety first. All right. Go, 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 shawty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday, we gon' sip. The sky here in Daytona Beach is amazing. You can never see it enough times. Y'all should come. I wish you could see the moon how I see the moon right now. Can you believe we've actually been there? That's insane. That's so awesome. It's moments like these, I'm really happy that I'm going to be an aerospace engineer. Yeah. Go, 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 shawty. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna you ready? Let's go in. This is it, the Spacecraft Development Club. Ah, so no one's in here, that's okay. Um, I usually come here during lunch to study or to like respond to like um, YouTube and Twitter comments and things like that and to get away and to, um, we're actually building a satellite. So that's supposed to be a supercomputer. All the little sticky notes basically say don't touch in a lot of comical ways. And uh, here we just uh, engineer stuff. And um, every board probably has a different project on it. That's an awesome telescope. And these uh, are planets. Those numbers mean stuff and things. And that's also probably really important. So this is it, guys. This is Dick Club. So this is my setup. I like to have my textbook on my computer on one screen and the lecture slides on another screen, different computer, and on the third screen, a uh, Google. Google. So, like, with all those resources, like, how could you go wrong? You can't. Um, so the goal for tonight is to take a couple hours and try to understand everything. Because, uh, as one of my professors recently said, engineering is really easy once you understand everything. So, <laughs> um...
it's kind of like the understanding everything that's kind of the hard part. So it's time to get business done, and I'm going to pick this vlog up tomorrow on Sunday. Have a great night, everyone. Welcome to Sunday. So last night, after I finished vlogging for the day, I found out that it was the start of something called VEDA. I think that's it. VEDA. And I'd never heard of that before. It's like vlog every day in April, which is really cool. What a coincidence. That's literally... The chance of that happening is 1 in 365 that I would just decide to start doing a vlog every day the day it's supposed to actually happen. Um, I'm not going to post them every day. And I'm definitely not going to do it for all of April, but I think it was a really cool coincidence. Like I said, this one uh, vlog is going to happen over the course of the week, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Right now I'm on the way to school, which will mean the seventh day in a row that I've went to school for any reason whatsoever. I'm going to the a tutor lab. Our uh, school has a like uh, a lab where there's a bunch of uh, floating tutors to help you out and um, this week like none of us know what's happening in math so hope to see some of the people there and uh, I know later on tonight because it's Sunday night and the homework's due tomorrow I'm going to be getting texts from people saying hey bro um, what are we supposed to do for the homework and I would be like I don't know bro but I'm going here so I want to have it finished by 8 and it's 3.30 <laughs> That's, I think that's kind of reasonable. And that's my plan for the day. Yesterday, I did find an awesome card for my mom. It was perfect because it had nothing on it. Like, it had a thank you and a thank you very much, but I like to write my own stuff instead of having a lot of other people write it for me because I'm kind of a writer and kind of can. <laughs> but I didn't find the mount. Hashtag elusive mount because I cannot, for the life of me, find a mount for my tablet. Um, so I'm continuing to believe for that. I've been thinking about something this morning to change topic, and uh, and it I, well I started thinking about it last night when I was talking to a, a friend of mine, and we were talking about like what our lifestyle is like and how like I don't really go out to party. I never have really been that way, and I think part of it was being like an introvert, but I always think of myself like, I kind of think of it like I could go out to see a concert like I see like some of my friends doing, or if I continued working and writing and recording and posting music on YouTube, instead of being in the audience, eventually I'll get to the point where I can be the one on the stage. And it comes, <laughs> I think it comes from, um, I think it like, boils down to this, um, time management. I think that time management isn't really time management at all. I think time management is really decision management. It's like making a choice every week, every day, every hour. Is this what you, like, see yourself doing? Is this, this action, this thing that I'm enwrapping my time up in, is this contributing to my like overall success or like eventual success or it is so it's a kind of like making the decision to sacrifice the temporary pleasures like going out so much not that it's bad but that it's time consuming sacrificing those temporary things for a vision that you have in uh, the future ahead so I think uh, people that have been successful and of course everyone has kind of their version of what that means, but to them, they've been successful because they've made a series of decisions to be uh, deliberate and disciplined. And I think that is so, so important um, because you can be skilled and good or talented at something, and I think you need to just buckle down sometimes and uh, put in put in the work. I've noticed when I don't try, um, nothing good happens. So 
I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Uh, you can write what you think about success for or following your dreams or working or um, time management. Um, what I like to call decision management now. Um, now that I think more about it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Yeah, good talk. This has been some hashtag real talk for sure. Yeah, look forward to hearing what you guys think. So, I have not the best news. The Tudor Lab is closed until 6. It's not even 4 yet, so I'm adjusting. I'm going to go to the library and uh, try to find try to find uh, somebody to study with to get all this homework done. So, I know why the uh, lab doesn't open until 6. It's because it's Sunday night and all the homework is due tomorrow. And engineers are a bunch of procrastinators. Hey there, I'm home and it is 10.30 and I actually ended up not needing to go to the tutor lab at all because I uh, figured out with a little bit of help from my friends, which is great. I'm not finished yet, but I'm like four-fifths of the way finished, um, which means I'll be able to finish pretty soon. I probably have a another hour of work, but it's not even like my only homework. I still have another assignment due for another class tomorrow that I need to complete. So like tonight's one of those nights where the question is, do I want to stay up really late and finish my homework or do I want to get up really early and finish my homework? And I think the answer to that question is both. So that's going to be fun. Um, so I'm going to close out this vlog for the day. Um, good night and you will see me tomorrow. Hey, it is uh, April 3rd, 2017. It's Monday night at 11.53, and I want to tell you about what happened with the homework thing. I finished studying. No, I didn't even finish. I uh, stopped studying the for the homework, stopped doing the homework at like 3 or 4 a.m., um, got a few hours of sleep, woke up at 8 a.m., finished the first assignment, went into class, turned it in, and then the uh, professor had like a really great idea, like honestly, like one of the best ideas I've ever heard. She looked over the crowd of students and that's when we knew like something bad was going to happen. <laughs> and her next words were, you know what, I'm going to make this homework due on Wednesday. So like 40% of me died right then and there. <laughs> and um... Because, like, I spent, like, all night working on the homework, and it turns out wasn't even due. Um, and, but, like, the 60% was also, the, the other 60% was, like, happy that it was done, and that it's out of the way. And now I get to take it back for two more days and rework it, maybe find any errors that I made. Um, and also, like, redo the problems to get more practice. Because, like, finals are, like, not even a month away. And I can't even tell you how excited all of us students are that finals are so close. <laughs> and I, um, so just, you know, like more practice. So I'm happy about that. Oh, if you're seeing this video on a, in a new, like, way, it's because when I was at the store the other day to buy the mount, which I didn't buy because it's elusive, I, uh, found this, like, $12 tripod, which now the tablet even though it has that oversized bracket mount, um, is resting in. So, like, if you go back and watch vlog one, I had, like, the tablet, like, resting on, like, the crevice between the laptop keyboard and the screen, and then it was, like, really shaky because, like, my hands were, like, hit the table. But this way, it's, you know, by extension, 
Um, I'm not even like touching the table. So I think the video quality will improve. And you just like every vlog gets better. Vlog, every video vlog gets better. Just like every day in your life should get better every week. So yeah, it's been a good day. I'm gonna, I'll see you tomorrow. When you're watching this, I hope you have a great night's sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, I was going to like wait to vlog until like later, but I felt like now was the perfect opportunity. It's um, April 4th and uh, it's raining in Florida. And I don't know what it is about the rain. I think it's like, I just like it. It uh, probably, it reminds me of like home. It makes me miss home a little bit. I remember like going to coffee shops and, and, and when it was raining outside and I would literally uh, song write and drink coffee. So um, everyone, <laughs> there's a lot of people here that are from Florida that are just used to the sunshine and uh, use umbrellas and stuff and um, it's funny. Um, but I literally like took my time walking to my car, my, my Jeep, because I just wanted to like soak it up and um, I just like it. I don't know. I just, I just like it. It like reminds me of home. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, when I get home, I get to post my fourth vlog, um, which is really cool. So maybe I'll show you like a little bit of the process of that. But let me show you the rain. See, it? there's a guy walking. Oh, sweet. That person's from Washington, too. That's awesome. All right. Well, let's go to school. It's going to be fun. I'm going to take my time walking there. Maybe. Maybe I'll run it by the professor that we should have class outside. I don't think he'll go for that.